everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. We all know that food preservation is important for us to keep our foods for a long period of time. Sterilization is an important preservation method to preserve our foods. It can be achieved by using different methods such as moist heating, dry heating, filtration, irradiation and chemical methods. Among those methods, sterilization uses moist heating and dry heating called as heat sterilization. Heat sterilization is a controlled heating process used to complete annihilation of all living microorganisms, including thermoresistant spores, and inactivate enzymes in foods. It can improve the shelf life of foods more than 6 months at ambient temperature. There are two types of heat sterilization. They are patch sterilization and continuous sterilization. When we sterilize a food product, the sterilization time is very important. It depends on heat resistance of microorganisms or enzymes, pH of the food, physical state of the food, rate of heat penetration into the food, and container size. As we told earlier, heat resistance of microorganisms is very important in the process of sterilization. Heat is lethal to microorganisms, but each species has own particular heat tolerance. Therefore, time and temperature combination is important to thermal destruction. The thermal destruction of microorganisms can be explained by D value and it is different for different microbial species. So let's see what is D-value. D-value is the time required at a specific temperature to reduce a microbial population by one decimal. And it depends on temperature, type of microorganisms and composition of the medium that contain the microorganism. For an example, D value at 72 Celsius of 1 minute means each minute of processing at 72 Celsius, the bacterial population of the target microorganism will be reduced by 90%. When talking about the D value, 12D treatment is an important thing. 12D treatment refers to the application of sufficient heat to kill 10 to the power 12 amount of Clostridium botulinum endospores. Clostridium botulinum is a very dangerous moist heat resistant spore forming pathogen in low acid foods. It is an anaerobic and may survive in multiply sealed can. Though heat, heat sterilization can improve the shelf life of foods, there are some defects in heat sterilized foods. First one is color changes. For an example, red oxymyoglobin pigments in meat are converted to brown metmyoglobin during the heat sterilization. Also, meat can get slight brown color due to caramelization and mylar browning. Also, flavor and aroma changes can be occurred in heat sterilized food. For an example, development of cooked flavor in milk due to denaturation of whey proteins can be observed during the heat sterilization. Also, there can be texture or viscosity changes. For an example, shrinkage and stiffening of muscle tissue of canned meat due to coagulation and loss of water holding capacity of proteins. This can be overcome by incorporation of phosphates into canned meat because it helps to bind water and increase the tenderness and reduce shrinkage. Also, softening of fruits and vegetables due to hydrolysis of pectin materials, gelatinization of starches and 
Partial solubilization of hemicellulose can be happen during the sterilization process. This can be overcome by adding calcium salts to blanching water of fruits and vegetables. It can form insoluble calcium pectate that increases the firmness of can product. Moreover, viscosity changes in milk can be observed due to modification of KKC. Also, nutritional changes such as loss of amino acids in meat due to protein coagulation and loss of water-soluble vitamins and minerals in fruits and vegetables, especially ascorbic acid, can be observed during heat sterilization. Then let's see what are the suitable packaging materials for heat sterilization. They are retortable pouches, tetra packs, glass jars or bottles and metal cans. So these are the basic things that you should know about the heat sterilization. We hope to do a separate video for 12D process. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. Thank you.